Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Surviving Mars Green Planet. Uh, where apparently we made too many babies in the last episode. Our population just skyrocketed, so we're going to be spamming down uh, some arcologies over here, some apartments. I got some extra work sites and some extra, a couple of extra living spaces over here. We're going to try to balance some things out. Um, but wow, that, uh, that really snuck up on me. We're making so many babies. We're going to hit a thousand uh, colonists in the not too distant future. Uh, we're still trying to see if we can finish the terraforming thing. Uh, along the way. So then we have lots of living space over here. Lots of unemployed people. So I think what's going to happen is we're going to plop down some more workshops. Um, I mean, there's no reason to do more science. Maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll get another Mars in University for all our people to become specialists. In fact, I think we'll probably build two over here. Um, and maybe what I'll do is just to produce things sort of locally is I will get a machine parts factory and an electronics factory, and let's say a polymer factory, um, right here. So we get some basic construction of everything nearby, and then we'll set up some workshops. We'll just let some of this kick in first. But yeah, there's homeless people, and there's jobless people. Uh, there's, we need a lot more jobs in general, and we'll we'll build them up over here because it'll be a little easier to maybe balance this dome. So this homeless and unemployed, so those are people that will probably just move out of here, which is going to be okay. And we could balance these other domes individually, we'll see. But yeah, we are making so many babies. 813, 816. It's just going up like all the time. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, we'll add, uh, yeah, we'll add a second orc shift here. Research and complete. here. And there. May as well get the factory AIs, I mean. Why not, right? Boom, boom, boom. Uh, trilobite scrubbing to remove dust in an area. You've got a ship available. Uh, seed vegetation, someone's going there. Melt, da 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 da. Um, oh, cloud seeding over here. Nope, someone's already doing that. We could capture an ice asteroid, but uh, water is growing. I think we'll hit 100% relatively soon without having to do anything else. Um, I guess I'll send you to Earth. Because why not? So I'm not auto-trading minerals, but I am trading minerals on the shuttles. And at least what's that, what that's going to do Resources is online. it'll um, remind me when the shuttle arrives because I'll get a message. Low electronic storage. We did just spam a bunch of uh, buildings that use electronics. I'm going to make sure we've got a large buffer. And right now, 50 is not enough of a buffer. That's why we're getting a warning. It's like, oh, this is going to get consumed pretty quickly. Did build a new electronics shop over here, though. So, and I mean, we already had one as well. Ooh. Um, let's open we up that work shift. On the space elevator. Delivery good. Building's not working. Water extractor over here. You are full of trash. You are full of trash. Now, we shouldn't need these water extractors to be working right now. But we'll have them be ready to go um, in the future. But right, yeah, because right now we're producing way more water than we actually need. Thanks to our... Um, our huge amounts of water vaporators and our high moisture content in the atmosphere. Uh, you are landing. Oh, this is the uh, the people who want to live forever. They're requesting some parts. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We got parts for you. No worries. All right. Um, so now that I have that, I was going to build more workshops because yeah, we still have tons of unemployed people. Okay, so that's what we're going to start looking at. More of these workshops. Uh, I did just build another biorobotics over there, but I think I'll do more. Then I'll build two VR workshops like that. And we'll get a couple of arc workshops here and here. So they just consume resources. They do lead to high comfort, which means more babies. Um, they, there's a, a milestone though, um, to have 40% of your workers in workshops. It gives you a bunch of science, which we don't need anymore. Because yeah, we are other than the repeatable things. Which I guess we'll run for infinite money? Sure, why not? We're clearly very late game. I mean, Soul 300, I've definitely never gone this late. Definitely not. Funding received. Yay, rare metals. Um, workshop, work shift. Work shift, work shift. Okay, now we have vacant work slots and residential slots over here. So anyone who's homeless or jobless, 
hopefully they'll go over here. I mean, they might be being encouraged to come somewhere. Like, um, uh, over here we encourage uh, sexy people, I think, to live here. Sex people and, I guess, children? No, not children. We have another dome for education. So this is just the baby-making dome. Although we do have plenty of space for babies. Um, who is, say... Can I select one of these unemployed people or homeless people? I guess that little thingy. Here's a homeless person. Um, you are a youth. I think youths can work. They're not kids. But what I will... So I guess I will give you more housing over here. And I guess I still want you to be a baby making dome. So we'll give you the smart complex. That's going to be okay. Um, and maybe what I'll do is I will build some more nurseries here too. The kids don't take up housing that adults could be living in or something like that because these are very space efficient I mean there's still some homelessness or some joblessness maybe but I think they'll move there they can always work the other dome as well okay so you're okay you're okay so at least well, actually let me I haven't checked this barrel dome in a while I think the ratios were good here no we have a bunch of unemployed and some vacant residential slots. So... Let's just give you some outdome work. Um, let's uh, give you an outside ranch. There you go. So you can just work there. Who doesn't love to raise the animals? I mean, we have tons of food. Right now, literally just government work, make work projects. That's that's it. All right, this dome over here, one on one. You're mostly okay, mostly okay. There's some mismatches. I'm hope I was like, I'm hoping that some of these interconnections would work, but mostly Reset we're okay. Complete. All right. New special project available. Yes, send expedition. Um, yeah, I guess we'll have to send someone from home. Uh, amplify. Here, we need more people, clearly. That's our, that's one of our problems. Let's launch a rocket full of people here. And bring it back. And this thing is still not getting serviced at all. Is it possible that there's not, like, a drone hub? Um, no, there's multiple drone hubs. There's just probably not storage. So I'm going to set up a new universal storage depot. Um, because it can service these domes and everything, too. I'll send it, you know. I'll put it, uh, I'll put it over here. Here, I'm going to put it here. Um, and because of the domes, we'll put, we'll turn it on for everything. That's going to be okay. And it will actually get another drone hub over here. This is a big drone, or big dome. It'll need the help. So we'll get that, and then, yeah, resources should get delivered to finally get this to go somewhere, because it's kind of embarrassing. It's been sitting here so long and not getting a job done. Look at those shuttles! Yeah, baby! I mean, we have three shuttle places, all of which have the maximum of 12 shuttles. The shuttles have the speed boost, the, the capacity boost. It's sick. We're almost at 100% water. Could just build some more shuttles, too, just to keep the numbers up. Here. Or, or rockets, I should say. Because why not? I mean, we've got another one coming. But yeah. We might we might do something else that, that burns up a rocket. And we got, we got all the resources we need right now. We're in the end game now, baby. No spoilers. Seed vegetation. Da, 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 da. There we go. That one's done. And then we can do another one as soon as we do have a rocket back over here. So, yeah, we're just shy of the 60. 0% per soul. Why? Why, though? Oh, it only improves global vegetation if it's less than 40. So you really, okay, so you really just have to j spam the, the, the seed vegetation projects, which was mostly going to come down to how often does it show up on the screen. I guess they, they, they come back fairly often. That one's finally launching. Hooray! This one's going to arrive some people. 100% water! Boom! More science that we don't need. I mean, we're still researching some things. If we want to build some fusion generators. But, well, actually, we're only down to 45 excess power right now. What? Research. Yeah, man, let's get a fusion generator. Um, fusion reactor. I'm going to build it, uh, yeah, here, so both domes. Here. It's literally touching both domes. 
Fusion auto regulation, reduce the amount of workers. I, I probably will do that, even though we still sort of need more work stuff. Speaking of make work stuff, we still have some unemployed people over here. So, I don't know. More, um, we're gonna go with biorobotics. Because we have lots more machine parts, I think. New cloud seeding project. So that just makes it rain, which improves like the environment here, but I'm not gonna care about it that much. I mean, local soil quality help plant life. I don't think it's important. Temperature, water. No, we're just looking for the seed vegetation colonists. to pop back up. So you just chill there. I'll do maybe I'll turn off the um, the exports thing because otherwise when we do launch them on a project we'll, they'll have to be emptied of rare metals first not that I think that's gonna be that time consuming how's the comfort in this dome Ooh, uh, playing and shopping oh yeah because we've been adding the amount of people here but not really doing anything else um, so So there's a few different ways to do shopping. I mean, groceries does it. Let's set up another grocery. Actually, I'm gonna set up two groceries because otherwise people may complain that they're having unprepared food or something. Um, but I'll also get an electronics and a art store because it'll satisfy a few different needs. And then in addition to that, we'll just go ahead and plop down uh, two more large gardens over here. There we go. And yeah, lots of shuttles are ready to leave, but we'll just keep them here for now. Interesting, it seems to do it further out first. I don't know, you know what? Let's go ahead and do... We'll do the cloud seating. Uh, I guess that one's already on the way. We'll do this one. Waiting for payload to arrive. That will put us over 60. Which will give us another big bloom all over the planet. So yeah, maybe we can generically improve all the soil quality everywhere. Because I think the trees and stuff spread on their own later. Is this um is this a toxic pool? Yeah. Um It might be okay for us at this point. Hey, 1,000 colonists. To uh research. Research I guess you don't have everything turned on here. Yeah, you're probably waiting for a little bit of that. Let's do this. Microfusion. No active research. Oh, we'll just queue up a bunch of Martian copyrights. They'll get more expensive every time, and, you know, that's okay. Could build a bunch of tunnels, but you know what? This is alright. We'll get the... We'll expand out this way, because then what we can do too is we can just spam out the um, the, the cedars too, even though that's not gonna increase the vegetation amounts, so that was a little bit derpy. That's okay. We'll build we'll build derpy little little paths. Uh, what am I looking for? Infrastructure, drone hub. Uh, one here, one here, one here, one here and over there, and each one of them, I'll just put a generic little universal depot. I won't even worry about changing what they're actually allowed to have in them, because it's not that important. So there might be some, you know, random stuff just sitting somewhere, but that's gonna be okay. Completed this, done. We got the rain, we're making it rain. Uh, you are ready to come back, so sure. Just need to find a place for you to land. Here, land there. Crop failure reported. Crop failure? Oh shoot, you're full of food. Oh my god. Um, which, I mean, I guess we have so much food, like who cares if some of it goes to waste, but it does feel, well, wasteful, I guess, would be the, the word. So we'll put a, a food mega storage in here. <laughs> How much do we have right now? Yeah, nearly 15k. Martian copyrights. Yeah, we're getting more and more and more and more money. Yeah, all we need is more of the forestation projects to come up. 
be nice if the other people were helping out at this point. But that's not really how it works. We're we're the heroes of the Martian, you know, project. You are you have a ton of homeless people. And we have no empty housing anywhere. Including here we still have more homeless people. Okay, yeah, our population is growing so fast. Um I guess I could turn off the baby making. But that doesn't sound fun. Actually, you know what we can do? Is we can build a mega dome. Because that's another milestone, and we have not done that. Uneven terrain. Is it though? Alright, um, hang on. Flatten. Grab. Oh, that will destroy some of the greenery underneath here. I don't know if it'll destroy all of it. Like, I don't actually know where the uneven bit is. Okay, no, yeah, didn't it, it didn't destroy this part, which is good. Um, so it did the smart thing. Only where it actually did the work. Did it get kerfuffled? It's totally a word. And I will build another power cable here, too. I know they've got power from touching the other thing, but that's going to be okay. We can detect it is fine. Um... I don't know. I'm going to try to build a tunnel connection over here. I might have to, like, destroy this house and move it. We'll see. Near to that. Or station plant not working over here. Oh, it's actually just broken. I was worried because it didn't have any seeds. What I might do is still, just in case, uh, I'm going to get a little seed depot right here. Oh, wow, I think these things weren't generating seeds either because they were just full. Let's get a, a seed they mega storage. Sick colonists. Not that we're short on seeds, but let's make sure to keep things flowing the way that we want. That's really funny. Uh, da, 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 da. Megadome completed, Martian copyrights, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so if we go to our domes over here, can I run a passage? Yeah, okay, because there's a maximum length of passages. That's the only thing I wasn't sure about. Um, let's, uh, we'll start with an arcology. So we've got lots of room. And I'm not gonna mess around. We're gonna go, we're gonna just build apartments because they're still comfortable enough. There we go. Dome services. Space bar. Oh, oh, you know what, let's, um, build a passage from here to there as well. Excellent. Um, services, services, services. So space bar, diner, uh, infirmary. Uh, sure, we'll build an open air gym. Casino complex, you're gonna get all the things. Uh, security station can fit in right there. Uh, grocer over here. Sure, you can get an art store and an electronics store. And then we should actually Research maybe make you productive. Complete. I suppose just maybe workshops. There you go. Arts, VR, and biorobotics. Go, go, go. And ready to land. You're just sitting there. Let's, um... Spam out some more landing spots here. Martian copyrights, completed cloud seeding, hence the rain. Build, build, build. Yeah, you have a universal storage here, helping out with everything. Um, what I think I'll do is I will build... What am I gonna build? Oh, I'm gonna build another, another big mega storage for food over here, and I'll put in a, a minimum request thing as well. I know they're not facing the same way deal with it. Um, so we're going to request that there's always, you know, at least 300 food over here near our big domes. We have some homelessness, lots of joblessness. Okay, well, we can open up second shifts. Talk about fourth world problems, man. Or second world, since the second world that we've colonized. But second world is, is, a, is a phrase. You don't hear it very often. It was an old thing. Like, first world was like... This is like the Western thing, right? Western, second world is communist, and third world is what everyone fought over. 
That was the reference. So that's why I'm not saying second world, even though the second world we've inhabited. Fourth world from the sun problems. It's a bit lengthy of an explanation, but there you go. I'm... You guys need more jobs. Our production rates are still okay. I think I will go, though. And... Make sure, because we do have these workshops. Um, I don't think I care in this particular game about getting the 40% of people employed in workshops thing. There's a milestone for it. I don't think I'm going to care too much about it. It's mostly just going to be, I'm building the workshop so that our people aren't in unemployed and miserable all the time. Arts. And another VR one, because sure, why not? Research complete. Blood music, prophase. Cons somehow completely changed overnight. Not just their personality, but also their looks and overall health. Cure Red World lost all their traits and gained the perks composed, fit, and sexy. We'll do the research myself. Get the research team on this. Uh, acting quickly, order the research team to examine the still confused colonists. Research the new tech. Anomalous genome resequencing to discover the truth. Is it just a different person? All right, so we got a little story bit. We'll do that, and then, I don't know, we'll queue up and punch more Mars Martian copyrights just to keep our scientists busy. Suppose we could shut down some of our science shops, but, you know, they're providing they're providing important work for our colonists. Uh, melt, capture... No, we need, we need the seeding projects to come up again. Oh. Man, we're going to need to run uh, seven more of those? Oof. Actually, eight, because we can't get the little percentage incre increase anymore. Maybe I shouldn't have run them until... Well, no, because... As I say, not run them until I have exactly 40, because these odd numbers are annoying, but... I guess it doesn't actually matter. I assume they just show up over time. Maybe I should run some of these other projects just randomly, but... There's, like, literally no point. We have, we have all this maxed out. We could spy on people, but... Can we spy on people and, like, give them our colonists? <laughs> like, I can. There are buttons. Um... Uh, hang on. Isn't there? Oh, both are allowed. So I could forbid all births everywhere. Maybe it's time. There you go. I control clicked it. No more births allowed. We're just we're just putting some birth control in the water supply. That's all. All right. Uh, we still have some unemployment here. So oh, although these guys are only the ones I just built are only working a single shift. So let's make sure to. Oh, did I build the same one twice? I did. Art, art, VR workshop. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll build two biorobotics and then we'll get another VR workshop. So there's an even amount of things in this dome. So they're gonna have three of each now. That's okay. And then they might actually get to the point where there's not, yeah, there's not enough people here. Research complete. Oh, telephase. They've discovered the reason between the changes affecting our colonists. Our construction nanites. Oh, they have muted and mutated and changed their behavior, slowly melding our colonists into a species of homogenous individuals. Our research team has immediately discovered a kill screech. Probably for the better. One final transformation. One final transformation. That's crazy. Yeah, into so all of our colonists would be the same. They'd all have the same exact like traits and perks. Which sounds boring, but yeah, we'll do a few more. Because it's a cold dystopian world. Oh, vacant work slots and residential slots basically balanced over here. Well, that feels good. Okay, a new cloud seeding project is available, so sure, we'll send it. We need vegetation. Yeah, we're going to have to run that seven more times. I'm, I'm not sure that continuing this series is going to lead to a lot more exciting fun. All I'm doing, like, I've turned on the turn off the births. I mean, we could keep spamming stuff, but, like, who cares, right? Um, I mean, I guess I could work on the 40% uh, things, but I, I think I think we've, we're going to declare this fully won. At this point, there ain't nothing to do but to wait for things to finish. I might, like, just finish it on my own because I assume there might be an achievement for hitting 100% everywhere. I'm pretty sure there is. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that might, that might just be it. I might just wrap it up there. I don't know, you guys. Um, is there any chance if, like, oh, metal extractor... Like, if I build more of the seed spreaders, like, is that a thing that will affect things? I don't I don't think there's been any hint that that's a thing. You know, I guess you don't actually need power. 
but what you do need is a little seed depot. So we'll get those over here. Ah, seed vegetation. Send, go. Um, and the other thing you need over here is going to be seed storage. Here, I'll build another big mega one. More big mega storages. Desired amount. Some seeds, where 100 is equal to some. There we go. You guys should be able to get the seeds over there now that they're being deposited. Uh, I'm going to change all these. The quality's high enough. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bulk change all of my forestation plants to do grass, bushes, and mixed trees. Research complete. Martian copyrights. Uh-huh. Very exciting. I wonder how, how, like, how high we can push this. Because we're still researching at 7.5k per day. Which is kind of nuts. Like, there's nothing I can interact with with, like, say, you know, China, can you make things greener? Not really. Exchange technology. I've got every technology. Meh, da 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 da, sabotage this. Nope. It would have been interesting if we could trade for a breakthrough or something. That would be nifty keen. But yeah, getting this last bit of vegetation, I, I think I'll, I'll do it on my own as like, you know, just to get the achievement, because I assume there is one. I could, I could double check, I suppose. Um, and it'll just be like, because we're pretty stable. I'll just like be letting the game run. And then whenever the expedition comes up, I will hit the button. If I started that, I, I could have started this sooner. There was a lot of like us not running those seedings. Um, and so I expect there's like a maximum number of like planetary jobs around all the time or like you know only up to two seedings available um, at any given time so by not taking advantage of those they were just sort of sitting idle so I probably could have pushed this further along had I realized that this was okay a little bit more critical although it did take us a while to get our seed production going like now we have infinite amounts but yeah these things here um, and I'm assuming this will work I mean we've got some areas that are slightly greener than others so it's probably okay I suppose I could put a lake over here too you know, I don't need the, the water spreading, but it'll give us a little bit more just fertile territory. I guess it means I will have to run like a giant pipeline over here, but that's okay. Although I do wish I had the breakthrough that made them have no maintenance. Again, the very first game I played of this, I got that and I just assumed, well, that's something you're just going to get all the time, right? Because the, the no material and no maintenance to build these connections is so good. Because then you can just sprawl all over the map and not worry about things. Um, in any way whatsoever, and it's kind of a beautiful thing. But yeah, we can do this. This will create a little bit more fertile space just around to make sure it's okay. But see, we're getting trees here too. Like, here's the thing. I keep looking at these places and, oh, they're barren. Except they're not barren. Well, I mean, they're barren because there's no nothing's been planted there, but they have some soil quality. And then the soil quality improves with these, so I'm pretty sure this might be good enough to start growing grasses right now. Maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Maybe we did want the lichen first. It's possible. Research complete. Maybe I should just keep the lichen production on for everything. You know, just lichen, grass, and mixed forest, maybe. Could be. Uh, you're back and ready to land. Boom, go there. Uh, so that's complete. Population. We still have a ton of unemployed people. Including here, so... Um... Let's go, what do you have the most of right now? It's still, it's still the machine parts. So let's just spam a bunch of bio-robotics. Some breakdowns over here too. Now we might not be able to hit the achievement, but... I mean, we could if we kept working on it, which clearly we could be a support. Uh, you're ready for electronics to fix you. I mean, we have some over here. We even produce electronics over here. And you've got, like, the, the, you know, the request of everything. There we go. Enable you. How's this done? Homeless and unemployed. Well, then don't live there. Go to another dome. No. Okay, maybe there's actually not a lot of options for that. Unemployed. Wow! Um, Alright, go for VR. 
It's dead. And uh, an arts, no, not an art store, an arts workshop. A couple of random rotations from time to time over here. Jeez. Are there still different um, skins for the domes once they've been, yeah, like the domeless domes? I guess there sort of is. Not the biggest difference, just changing the street color. It's more noticeable when the dome is up, but I still mostly prefer the clear domes. Uh, any concrete deliveries? But again, we've got we've got plenty. Like you've got a universal storage here. You're just kind of waiting for the the drones to get to you, which is okay. All right, I'm officially going to wrap it up here, folks. This series has come to an end. Thank you very much for watching. There probably will be more Surviving Mars at some point in the future, but we'll take a little break from it for now, I think. Because this is like three series in a row, but it's a very addictive game. And I really think that the, um, um, the Green Planet here adds tons more interesting stuff to sort of late game and different ways to, to play with stuff. Really, really keen and into this. Why are you, like... We've got tons of material. Is it really not getting anywhere? You've got even metals. It must be our shuttles are just like wickedly overloaded now. All right, if I find a shuttle hub, which is hard now Easy because complete. things are so packed and busy. I'm sure I have one over here. Okay, I know where this one is at least. No, this is low load, but I'm willing to bet getting more shuttles going would uh, maybe help with some of this. It doesn't help that we did just expand a whole bunch and you know, put in you know, a bunch of requirements for different things all over the place. So, all right, folks, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.